Hey guys, welcome back. This is number two of the 2013. Um, if you recall, in number one, we worked with an array list, and this time we're gonna work with an array. So they're a little bit different because one of them is a fixed size while the other one can uh, expand or shrink. Okay, so a multiplayer game called Token Pass has the following rules. Each player begins with a random number of tokens, at least one, but not more than 10. All right, so before I do anything here, I'm going to say math.random generates a number including zero. I'll just put an X here, and I know that's technically not Java with that less than or equal, and it doesn't include one. So this goes all the way up to 0.999. I know that if I multiply this by 10 on each side, okay, then what happens is you get zero to, I'm just gonna go 9.999 all the way, but not 10. If you put an int in front of this, I end up with zero to nine. If I add a one to it, then each one becomes one to 10. You are not allowed to do uh, math.random times 11. Times 11 includes only zero. You want one through 10. So um, if you do this uh, in math.random uh, times 11, you'll get zero to 10. We want one to 10. So this is the only way that we can do it. Okay, so we're going to do one plus math.random uh, times 10, and we're going to put an int there. So we'll do that later. Okay but I just wanted to show you how to get a random number between one and 10. Great. Um, once again, I'm assuming everybody read this, okay? Uh, each position on the board is numbers starting with zero, and the following rules apply for the player's turn. The tokens are collected and removed from the game board at the player's position, okay? The collected tokens are distributed one at a time to each player, beginning with the next player in order, okay? So one thing that we gotta make sure is that we reset, right? Well, that's gonna be pretty easy as long as uh, you have a for loop that keeps it in bounds. If there's still any tokens, after the player at the highest position gets his token, the next token is to be distributed to player zero, okay? The distribution of tokens continue until there are no more tokens. So let's just ex uh, play this game one time. There's four players. Right now, player two was chosen to go first. We're gonna take away all six of this person's token, and then we're gonna add, so six, we're gonna add one here, so that becomes five, we'll add one, 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 one. Remember, he gets his back, so that's gonna be another four more. And then, add here, we notice we're done, so they get five, they get the two plus the one, three, only gets one, 10 plus two makes 12, and that's what happens, okay? so. It says the token pass game is represented by the token, token pass class. And you have this board. This board is this right here, what we just saw. Okay, it's a fixed number. And we have current player. All right, so we're gonna take public token pass and we're gonna pass through the player count. It's gonna create a board of the array to be of size player count and fill it with a random value between one and 10 inclusive. Initializes current player to a random integer value in the range between zero and player count minus one. The parameter of player count tells you the number of players. All right, so let's get to it. We're gonna pass this array, not through the constructor, but we wanna initialize it, just like we did in the last example in, uh, 2013 number one so the way that we do that is we say private int board uh, board equals new int and now we don't know if there's four players five players six players or whatever but we just put player count and now you fixed up a board just like this with the amount of players that are going to be in there so now we're good to go all right so we need a for loop Okay, int i equals zero, i is less than, you can do player count, you could do 
board dot length I'll just do player count I plus plus and we're gonna give every single person a token and I taught you already how to um, math.random times 10. Okay, math.random is a method, so it should have parentheses after it. So what happens here is at int i equals 0, he's going to get a number between 1 and 10. At i equals 1, and these are going to be the tokens. Well, now we have to choose. Now we have to choose who's going to start. Well, that person's going to be random also. So let's get a different color. And we'll call it like CP for current player. So the current player, well, we're going to have to use math.random again. And now because the board starts at zero, you don't need a one plus anything here. Okay, so player count. So let's say there were four people. That's player zero, one, two, and three. If you do math.random times four, math.random gives you zero to one, not including one, times it by four, gives you from zero to four, not including four. If you put an int there, remember this guy will be 3.999. If you put an int there, you'll get zero to three. And that's how you do part A, okay? So now you set up the board and you chose the player that you want. So come back for part B. I don't wanna make these videos too long.